What's going on everybody, Amaka here. Monday, time for the weekly update where I go through my ups and downs of uh, you know building the passive income lifestyle. So welcome to the channel if you're brand new. Uh, please, if you like what I'm saying, subscribe, like, like the video and, and, all, and all that fun YouTube jazz. But uh, let's get down to it. Man, what a great week. I, I really had a great week this week. Um, and not just for my success, let me make, make sure I'm in the camera here, my success, but uh, a lot of my students just kind of reaching out to me and uh, you know, a lot of them are having some of their best months ever. Uh, I did a, a video, I'll link it up on here, of one of my students um, you know, doing over $400 a day, I think over 450 um, you know, but uh, for over four hundred dollars a day, regardless, um, you know, from his books right now, and uh, you know, when, when you achieve success, that's cool. But what's even greater is when you're able to help other people achieve, you know, success, um, you know, in their life, and and that's it's the whole reason I wanted to start the course and um, you know start documenting my journey is just to give people the the blueprint of how to do it and, uh, and and share what I'm learning along the way so others can can take it and uh, you know do big, bigger and better than what I've done and uh, that's just so cool to, to see a lot of my students uh, you know re reaching those levels um, you know this month so um, you know what else oh man I had an eye-opening call with uh, with my mentor this week D1 eye-opening it was, yeah, it was one of those ones where your mind just like snaps. And, uh, you know, it was funny. He, you know, a couple of, you know, we, we basically, he's like, you're making the exact amount of money you should be making based on your mindset. Something along those lines. And I know that, I've heard that before, but... You know, this is why this is why investing in mentors is just it's the most important thing you can do for your business because it gives you a constant reminder and it gives you just somebody who's always there looking out for your best interest to help you take things to another level. And he really just helped me, so, you know, remember that one I got I got to keep learning and growing. Two, um, you know, I need to start treating the business like proper business and start planning properly. Because I'm not planning, I'm getting up and doing what I need to do that day, and I'm literally just taking it day by day by day. And he's like, you're never gonna scale up to 20, 30, 40, 50 grand a month doing that. You gotta, you gotta start planning and then executing the plan. And I was like, man, that was just, you know, I've done that before in other businesses, but I haven't, I, I just, I haven't done that since I started this whole online thing at all. Like, I've, but like, you know, there's some things that I plan more than others, but, you know, planning. So it's like, okay, why are you doing this? And uh, it made a, it made a ton of sense. It made a ton of sense. It was a bit a big eye opening thing. So, um, so that's going to be, you know, I started working on that a little bit, but definitely going in 2018, that's going to be a major shift. I think just a lot more planning, strategically planning on, you know, why I'm doing things and, and not just doing things for the sake of doing it, for the sake of feeling busy. Because if you've never worked for yourself before, that you can do a lot of stuff that makes you feel like you're doing, you're being productive, but you're just being busy on a lot of stuff that doesn't really, doesn't really matter. So, yeah, so that, that, um, that's definitely something I'm gonna I'm gonna focus more on, but uh, yeah, that was that was probably the biggest win of the week. That and just having my students reach out to me about some of their successes, um, uh, you know. But the the whole planning aspect was was massive, massive for me because totally wasn't aware of it, was not aware of it, and uh, it makes so much sense because we went through things. He's like, so why did you buy so and so's? course or why did you buy so right it's like well all all of that's planned and I'm like oh man it's like yeah just yeah it was good it was good but um you know other than that uh it is you know we're approaching the holiday season and I know not all of you are celebrating depending on where you are around the world but um you know it's uh it's a it's busy time for us over here in North, North America um 
but uh, you know, you need to stay focused on your end goal because 2018 is going to be here in like 16 days ish, something like that. And uh, remember, you do not start January 1st. People who start their goals January 1st are the are the ones who just are not really actually committed to their goals. You start working on your goals now. And, uh, you know, I've been preaching that for months that, uh, you know, the new year, the new year started in September, right? That's when I started working towards my goals and changing things. And, you know, uh, you know, everything I've been doing this fall is leading up to massive 2018 that I want to have. <clears throat> Not about starting January 1st. That's just dumb. But uh, yeah. Anyways. I think that's all I got for this week. Um, I'm gonna get to some messages and some emails, and uh, I've been reaching out to uh, to some people again and some feedback, so I can work on some other things to to bring more value to uh, to those of you inside the blueprint. Um, but yeah, so other than that, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk soon. Take care.